Hey guys, it's Vince over at CG Vinyl Studio, and today I'm inside Vinyl Master, and I'm completing a project for a client, a custom project, and I wanted to discuss this in the format of moving from the digital format of where we're basically taking a client's idea or your own idea, translating it into Vinyl Master, whatever vinyl software you're using, and then we're going to create it into physical reality using the robots. Now, when I say robots, of course, the printer and the cutter. This um, actual job is one of the most profitable jobs you will ever encounter. And what this client wants, and this happens a lot, is he's requesting uh, a shape, in this case stars, to be cut in different sizes on white material. Now, of course, our vinyl starts as white. If we laminate it, there's your completed project. Now, there's really no ink here that's to be used other than the registration marks, which have not been applied yet. But what's really interesting is, is these type of actual requests we get quite a few of. And you'll notice that yourself, uh, depending on the client you're working with. The beauty of working with printable vinyl is that you basically have the entire color palette of vinyls that are available in a way that you don't have to carry bulk product. And that really, really extrapolates uh, how much money you can, of course, make. So you can see here this particular sheet is 15 inches wide. It's 31 inches long, not too big. Uh, again, uh, this particular order, uh, we're still yielding, I would say, right now, we broke it down to a little over 96% profit. So, again, insane amount of money. And, of course, once you start getting the snowball going with using up however much vinyl you have, you'll notice that your, your raw materials are paid off very quickly, and then you're just in that profit zone, more or less, of ROI. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. You can see I've got the actual features of the stars. Um, most vinyl software actually has shapes. You can just select the star. There's no graphical work here involved. Very, very simple. If somebody was to try to cut stars out, good luck in terms of getting them exact. You're never going to touch what this equipment can do, of course, and that's what these clients are paying for. So what we're going to do is we've already got our contour cut lines. You can see them all here. Um, I'm not going to put a weed box because it's basically a decal sheet. There's really no reason to do that. Um, overall, what we're going to do now is go into our contour cut wizard. You can see our printer set up. There's the Suma. Um, again, everything is set on automatic for arms, which is the automatic registration mark sensing system. And that's, again, what the registration marks are for to do a proximity cut. You can see that right now Vinyl Master is letting us know that this sheet is way too big. And that's why we're getting these red lines here. I'm going to hit on properties. Now we're going to configure the printer on the inside. So again, user defined sheet properties. You can see all of our ink levels. And again, I was not kidding, these cartridges are massive. So again, it's really, really neat to see everything coming into action. Now, paper configuration, I just bump my color density up usually on my registration marks. And this is for all the previous prints. I've gotten asked questions about that. I like a little denser colors. Uh, you don't have to. Again, you can adjust drying time. There's a lot of different settings here you can play with. Uh, overall, thank God, there's not much that you really need to adjust, or at least that we've found to our particular client's taste and our own. Click OK. Now we're going to go over to quality options. And again, I'm a big stickler on staying on five on quality. I turn off high speed. I don't care how fast my printer is. Again, most jobs you don't require that. This is the, under the super photo rating at 2880 by 1440 DPI, which is really, really, really clear. Um, we're going to click on finest detail. we got edge smoothing on. I'm going to click OK. Everything here is set. We're going to change our sheet size, and that will bring us right in. So we're at 15, and we want to come over to 31. And we're going to go OK. And now we should see everything is where it should be. So now, again, we're still at the max boundary of, you can see we're exceeding the sheet's max boundary. You'll also notice that the registration marks looking at the left side seem to be um, out of alignment in comparison to the right. So what I'll do is I'll click on printing options, use page marks. Now you've seen it basically adjusted itself. You can also manually adjust where you're at as far as the proximity of what you're cutting. And again, we really are pushing this sheet to the limit. You can see where we're you know, really getting close there. Uh, again, you can see the orientation triangle up here if we look close enough. If we want to click on view print, of course, there is nothing to print because 
it's a white sheet because we're just cutting shapes out. And again, you just see the registration marks present. If I come over here to view cut only, now you can see our stars. You can see the transition line coming in and where the actual cutter is going to start its representation as far as cutting the vectors. So again, everything here is all broken down. This looks good. There's really not much manipulation that needs to be done. Output options is set. Everything here is calibrated and correct. Uh, my recommendation is you would always come over here to view print only, come over here then to view cut only, and you do this prior to selecting print. And the reason we do this is so we can make sure all of our settings are correct and we're not missing anything. A lot of times people get in a, a workflow that is too fast and they don't pay attention to these details. And let me tell you what, with vinyl, any detail that you miss will bite you especially on large sheets like this. If this is an order that you've never done on a larger sheet, I highly recommend taking your time, breaking it down, making a written list of details. Um, I'm a pilot, so again, we deal with a lot of checklists for pre-flight. It's no different than this. Always make a checklist until you're comfortable and always refer to it because I'm telling you now, as soon as you get comfortable is when you get bit. And you don't want to waste money. You don't want to waste time. So again, once you've confirmed all your settings are correct, everything here looks good. You can see here I am printing device. I'm printing direct. Um, I've been told even by Vinyl Master that printing as a PDF gives you the best quality. I personally have not seen a quali any quality degradation going direct or PDF. So, again, that's my own personal preference. I'm just telling, uh, again, that's my opinion. I don't know if there is a definitive difference. Um, I do know when you print this PDF, once again, we're getting another program involved. I would rather keep the workflow more streamlined. And again, this is a real quick way to do this project. So now that I've checked everything, I'm ready to print. I'm just going to click on print. And you'll see our printer dialog box pop up. And she's letting us know everything is going. And we are all set. So as the printer is firing up now, I'll continue to video when the print is completed and we're laminated and we'll go over to the cutter and cut this project out. Okay guys, uh, it's Vince again and we've got our finished product for our stars for our client. Now, if you come over here and we look, this was a tapered project. He wanted ultra small stars here. We gave him a nice two dozen set there and we progressively go up in the sizes that he actually requested. Okay, and what you're gonna find once again is that using just white vinyl, and again, this is laminated with the 3M8518, again, for protection and durability. Um, what you're gonna find is doing prints like this, as you work more and more with vinyl, you say, well, you know what, I'm saving the money, like I stated before, on the ink. So you're actually saving the money on the ink. You make really good money on these type of projects. The difference is there's more work involved in terms of detail, because you wanna make sure that your white vinyl comes out spotless. And again, what's actually on the backing is one thing. You can see you get dust on the backing, not a big deal. But we don't want any dust in our actual substrate. So you can see as I pan over, these stars come out flawless. And you just have to work the material. And by working the material, I mean that you have to go over it carefully. We don't want any of that inside our actual substrate. Once again, we don't care about our backing, we care about the substrate itself. We want the presentation of these to look amazing, and that's exactly what we've got here. So again, you got a three inch on this end, you have, I believe, a half inch on this end, and you can see we're just coming down and going down to the quarter, half, keep progressively going up. Really a cool order. Um, we get a lot of orders for stars and graphics, once again, that take a lot of time to do by hand, and of course, you're never gonna get the precision you get with the robot. The other factor is, is that we'll get clients that'll say, you know, I love the way a star pattern looks. Can I, can you make me a star pattern? And yes, we can. The thing to keep in mind is that this client's got to apply all these stars individually if we don't, don't use transfer tape. But let's say there was a circular pattern that he wanted to create, in which case then we would just print the stars in a circular pattern apply our transfer tape and he'd apply the entire spectrum of that circle of stars right at once to his substrate to give him that pattern and it's a hell of a lot quicker than doing individual applications. Again, pricing would reflect that as far as the project because now we're getting into more detail but it's totally doable and it basically gives your clients the ability to create whatever effect you're looking for. Again, as I move the light, again we are shooting in 4K right now 
you can see what I mean by why I use the 3M8518. We get a lot of questions on it. I've seen it so high now, it's gone up in price. Uh, some vendors are selling it for $650 a roll and claiming it's out. Um, it is expensive stuff, but it is amazing on on our vinyl. It's really formulated for it. The adhesive is amazing. Our vinyl, again, you can see exactly. And this is just white. This isn't even printed on. And you can see the effect. The other thing is, of course, we've got our printer going right now. And again, this is Sunday. And it's, what, 9.50. Um, once again, we work seven days a week. But the beauty of this is you're not working on the clock. In true terms, you're working by the project. And you're, you'll find out real quick what you're able to produce. Again, just pan over here real quick, show them. There you go. We'll just go back and you can see that finish. And that's exactly what we're going for. Go for the small stars. There you go. Beautiful. Right down to the tiny ones. So again, guys, I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, I hope I'm giving you ideas. That's really what I want you to do. I want you to think. I know in day-to-day -day life, when, when I was working my nine to five, the hardest thing was to think outside of that box make you guys start thinking creatively, hey, what can I do with this? What genres can I get into? We deal with a large spectrum of clients and that's exactly what they're doing. They're constantly thinking about how can I get involved in um, utilizing these products with different clients in different formats and different genres. So overall, that's what I really am hoping that you guys are doing is really looking at what you're able to create and then going from there as far as what you want to create and, and basically moving forward with it. So again, I hope that this video has been helpful. If you guys want to create, again, the same project we have here, we'll put links to the products we use. Once again, our glossy uh, acrylic base professional vinyl. Uh, I'll put that in the link in the description as well as a 3M8518. Um, I will also put links to Joanna's email. You can get in touch with her or myself and we can work with you on whatever order you need to do if you have any questions. Once again, we thank you for your support. Take care.